Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta. Have a feeling we're in the final chapter, not too sure, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. Am I supposed to go this way? I guess so. What is this place? The ele elevators have been stopped. Must be some sort of automatic safety device. But this flimsy of a gate can be broken to make a way outside. <laughs> Very flimsy. What about this side? What about this place? Can I go there first? They simply blocked off areas that aren't currently in use. It doesn't feel like Cerisa is here either. Yeah, I guess I won't be able to destroy this gate. This is just a decoration gate. Deco decorative gate. Wah. Oh! Did I dodge it or not? I'm not too sure. I guess I can walk on the. I can walk on here. Now that it's a full moon. And there's probably gonna be another elevator falling down. What the? Dangerous stuff. Are they trying to get me killed? I think so. This guy? Come on, I can do this. Whoa, that was luck. Yeah, that wasn't luck. I didn't play that well. I guess we're revisiting all of the other bosses that we've seen so far in the game. Look at that! Look at the angle of this city now. Huh. Very cool. Top level. Final boss must be close. Which way am I supposed to go? There's no telling when the building will be destroyed. I have to find Cerisa quickly and get her out of here. Yes, indeed, you do. Whoa, is that a statue? What type of statue is that? Some sort of goddess. Whoa. There's a few more angels there. Ah. I guess I should go in and save, huh? Okay. 
Gates of Hell, here I come. Hey guys, we're back. So I decided to change my weapons and uh, get the Kilgore. And I uh, combined it with the new type of Durga. And also doo -doo, the Shuraba, which is my favorite weapon, I believe. It's very good. Let's move on. I'm gonna go and get that item first. I would imagine they're bullets, but I'm not too sure. Nope. Not bullets. So we're going up here. Whoops. Ah, it's going towards the light. Oh, we're going towards heaven! I think. Whoa! Whoa! Who just attacked me? Who was that? Can I go here? I saw something. Show it to me again. Oh, it's a dragon. I don't like him. This is the same spot. I'm gonna go have a look. Nope, it's not the same spot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's try. Cut him in half. I'm gonna go back up from here. Ah, in a book. What's this book about? Itabal C01. I'm gonna have a look around again to see if there's another place I can go down. I have a feeling that was the only place. That's the place I was at the beginning. Yep, there's an invisible wall. I cannot go there yet. And that's where I was. Okay. So, we're gonna go up that ramp. But I saw more platform up there, so there's probably gonna be a way for us to go up there. I would think. <laughs> I 
They like having her turn around the pole. What? What did I do? Huh? I'm not sure I get this. Why? Come on! I'm turning. Why isn't this working? Left? Oh, maybe I need to go slower first? Slow and steady. Faster and faster and faster. Slowly, slowly. I don't get it. Goodness. Well, okay. I'm gonna fall down, aren't I? No, I survived it. scary. Where am I now? What just said? What? What? No! Why am I falling down again? Uh, <laughs> okay, I really have to hurry, I guess. Once I do this, I really have to hurry. guys off oh, okay these platforms they always stay there to go huh. oops <laughs> yeah, yeah just use it come on destroy this thing give me my bully
Aha, uh -huh, this must be it. Seems to be doors here. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure right there. I'm definitely gonna go and get that. That one I already got, but not that one. I have to be careful of the sunlight. Okay, I guess I have to go over right here first. I'm gonna fall down, and then I have to jump on the platforms. Is that how it works? And there's a book! I'm gonna fly over there, I'm not even gonna try with the uh, platforms. I was lucky. What is that? Eat that all CEO too. Give me my gift. Truth of the purest. I got a trophy. Can I get even more treasures? I wonder if I can fall where the angels are. Should I try it? Oh, there's an- what? <laughs> oh, you guys, there's an invisible wall! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I just lost a life now. You're gonna tell me I died again. Well, I kinda did. And I did on purpose, which is the sad part. You guys must think, whoa, he is weird. Why would he kill himself on purpose? <laughs> and I cannot answer that. I'm just curious, I guess. <laughs> curious in a bad way. I guess we're here. What is that? Aw, oh, come on. Yeah, they really are making us fight all of the bosses that we've fought so far. Soccer time again. Or volleyball time again. <laughs> that guy I always miss. 
He misses all the time. That's the golem monster, right? Golem boss. Kissy kissy. Oh, that's nice. Pure platinum. So I'm pretty sure we're done here. Cool level. Alright you guys, I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna start reading and don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt, I'll see you in the next video! Alright, Itaval C01. The Itaval group holds complete control over Vigrid, planning the city and arming it to the teeth, and while using rhetorical flourishes to conceal the conglomerate's many dark facets. The company's vast political and economic power has created an island held as a symbol of modernity, Isla del Sol, and place its headquarters at the symbol's very center. I wonder if the whole island really is the shape of a star, or a sun, I should say. Um, I guess we'll see it probably once we battle the final boss, since this tower's in the middle, and anyway, I have a feeling we're gonna see the whole island, and it probably is, like, on the map, um, the shape of a sun. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Um, at the conglomerate's top stands a man said to be a descendant of the long departed Lumen, a man who has earned the adoration of the people Baldur. Baldur is, as they say, a mystery wrapped in an enigma. He's probably the guy we hear all the time talking to uh, Baronetto in this like creepy voice <laughs> and he comes out of nowhere if he is truly one of the descendants of the lumen that would mean that the blood in his veins has been pumping since their extermination some 500 years ago however even if you look back through decades of vigorous records there is no knowledge of anyone with a lumen lineage Furthermore, if you search for information on his hometown, schooling, work, history, or family, you find that it has all been forged. There is no record of his life before Itaval, nor are there any stories of unimpeachable veracity. It seems like he has been hiding details of his life ever since his birth. I have already chronicled the unprecedented military expansion and turbulent movements related to next generation energy research taking place in Vigrid. However, a man who has for years or even decades hidden the facts of his life is now at the very pinnacle of power of a conglomerate with literally earth-shaking might. The question begs to be asked, what is this man capable of? He's capable of very evil stuff. Very evil stuff. <laughs> okay, let's read the second tome. Second part, or second pages. There remains one thing that worries me about Baldur. There are rumors that he has been partaking in the game of the Lumen Sage. In other words, feverishly hunting out any remaining Umbra witches in order to facilitate his next generation energy research. It's hard to believe that a member of that clan, thought to have crumbled away 500 years ago, still remains unbeknownst to the world at large. However, when considering that they are purported to have 
wielded massive power as overseers of the world, the word that this self-styled sage Balder is actively seeking a witch forces, one to have major qualms. And of course, while the sound of research into next generation energy is incredibly attractive, the marvelous essence of Balder, as well as his startup company, and his control of the, an arsenal of armament and fortifications has all been conducted under a cover of total media control. Could one honestly say that all this secrecy would be needed for something that has peacefully that has peaceful uses? Obviously not. Like why would you have all those weapons? Another troubling sign is the ease of which one can acquire information regarding the Itaval conglomerate as of late. It may just be my journalistic sense, but I feel there is a possibility that Balder is intentionally leaking information. Journalistic sense? Yeah, this guy is obviously Lucas' father. Yeah, Lucas is supposed to be a journalist as well. Supposed to? <laughs> uh, Alright, um, if we make the assumption that leaves me with no way out. Ever since I began conferring Vigrid's transformation and the dark shadow behind the Itaval group, I have been on an inescapable crash course with the truth. Even if it was a trap, and I must overcome that trap to get to the truth, I'm hell-bent on doing so. And let's read the last one. To my beloved son, and look who it is! It's Luca! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, he's so cute in that picture. I wonder if he met the younger version, Sarisa? Yeah! I hope so, that would be cute. If you find this page undestroyed and in the hands of another, that means something has happened to me. I wrote these notes in case that very if should come to pass. However, it still makes me wonder how far I will have gotten on my journey. Maybe I've been on it maybe I've been able to grasp some sort of truth from the darkness of confusion. Maybe I've been able to give my son the understanding of what it means to truly believe. How cute. Um to the son I love more than anything in the world if you are the one to read this, forgive me for throwing myself into work and thinking a little of my family, of our family. Dot 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 dot. I am a foolish man, much too attached to my beliefs, and entirely unable to change. I am sure that this has caused you immeasurable trauma. Now you set off on your journey down this long hard road we call life. However, as a father, I have nothing I can teach you, and even less I can leave you. Hopefully, you will remember the short time I spent with you as a token of my love. What the heck? What a, what a jerk! Uh, I, pray that, I pray that it will become for you a roadmap to a life of substance. That means totally nothing! Oh, you're a jerk, Dad. You're really a jerk. Okay, you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for listening to me read. Read in slow motion. But I'm getting somewhat better, I think. Okay, see you all later. Bye.